So when you start up on building a new application, uh, sorry, using a new framework like the NC framework, I think the most important thing is to start Googling, figuring out where can we find help when we get stuck. And I think the best place that I've found so far for actually using the NC framework is this place, the ncframeworktutorial.net. I really, really think that's a very, very strong place if you guys want to go and, and just have a basic start of how to code uh, when using the NC framework. And I'm, I'm going to use the example on how to use code first, but there's also another setup called database first, which is more about inside this basic tutorial here. But we're going to use the code first as our guide whenever I want to talk to you guys about a specific area. You can go in here and read it if you need to go into more details than what I just told you guys. So the ncframeworktutorial.net, I love it. It's a great place to get going both with the NC Framework 5.0 and 6.0. There are tutorials for both. And uh, what we are going to talk about is what is code first this lesson. So before we make our first entity framework setup, I just want to try and explain you what it actually is we're going to do. So th this image right here is kind of illustrating what the entity framework is for us. We're going to specify some domain classes. And what is a domain class? Well, that's what you guys made in the last couple of uh, lessons where we started building like a, a people, uh, sorry, person and a person status. Those are two domain classes. It's aware for presenting the real life, the real domain out there. Uh, if it was a car, we would have a car class. If it was a parking lot, we would probably have a parking lot car, uh, class, uh, maybe with cars bound to that parking lot class, right? So the domain model, that's kind of wrapping the real world thing into software. Now you're going to build these classes and then using the entity framework, we're going to ask that guy actually to take those classes and convert them into database tables. So it's going to behind the scenes, make some SQL queries, and those queries are going to build a database for you. It's not only going to do that, it's also going to create some tables for you. Not only that, it's also going to add the different columns for you. If you know anything about SQL, it's going to build your keys for you, the primary keys, the foreign keys, everything will be built for you just by writing c -sharp code and asking it to use something called a context file that's from the entity framework. So that was the big, the easy way to explain the entity framework. We're going to make some C-sharp code, we're going to use the entity framework and that's going to build an SQL database for you behind the scenes without you doing any SQL uh, queries on your own actually. It's going to make those queries for you behind the scenes. And we're going to use link to do some of the queries here, we're going to use link like you did with when we added to list, we deleted from lists, we sorted lists, we found a specific item in a list. That's kind of the syntax you're going to use when you want to work with the NC framework. It's that simple. So that's kind of the NC framework and that's what we're going to try and build in the next lesson. See you next time.